Hi, and thank you for joining Lisa Brown, Stamp with Lisa Brown, on My Savvy Sunday. Today we're going to make a fun little, um, little purse gift holder, and we're going to be featuring the So Sentimental Bundle, specifically your Friendship is a Blessing stamp, and the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is available in a bundle in the annual catalog. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, uh, we have a piece of designer series paper from the Peony Garden, and I've already cut it to five and three quarters. I now want to cut it to nine and three eighths. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's nine and three eighths. Next, we want to score our paper. And our first score line is going to be at four and three eighths. And our second score line is going to be at five inches. Okay, let's get the paper trimmer off the table. So what I've done is I have taken one of our acetate boxes. Um, they were made to um, put cards in and they have a little um, closure lid on top and one on the bottom. And then what I've done is I've actually cut off this side of the box. Let me see if you can see that. So um, I just took my scissors. I'll show you on the other side. So I, I cut off this edge on, on the other side. And what I did is I took my scissors and I just kind of cut up the middle so that I could open it up. And then I just um, cut off that score. So what I'm going to do is take some tear and tape to um, close the box back up. And I'm going to put that tear and tape on these flaps so that the box is now going to stay closed. When you're um, decorating your box, you're going to just want to make sure that your flaps are to the back side. I'm going to press it on there. Put some tear and tape on this flap. Okay, and give that a good press down. All right, now we're going to peel that backing off. And we're going to tuck that flap on the inside of our box and seal that down. Lining up our edges. Okay, give that a good press. And if you want, you can take a bone folder to kind of help you seal that down. The more you seal it down, the less of the tear and tape that you're going to see. So this side's going to be a little bit easier to um, press that tape down because the other side's going to um, give it a, a final closure. All right, let's peel off this other backing. Make sure our tab's tucked in, and now we're just going to close that in. Line up our edges. All right, and we're going to press that down. And then again, I'm going to go in with my bone folder and give that a nice press. The bone folder really helps to make that tear and tape kind of disappear for you. Okay, then we're going to take our designer series paper that we cut and scored and we're just going to give it some nice little presses on that score line. I'm not going to burnish it with the bone folder. Um, I just want it enough to that it's going to fit in that box 
and you're gonna slip this right in there. Again, use your bone folder to um, make sure that it's all the way down in your box, like so. Isn't that cute? Okay. Then what I've gone and uh, with, with the uh, stitched so sweetly framelit dies, I've taken two of the dies and that your friendship but blessing stamp and I stamped this uh, on Whisper White with basic gray, excuse me, gray granite and then I took a size up and I cut this out of petal pink and I'm going to dimensional that on there. Line that up. Okay, and then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And we're going to stick it on the front of our box. Your um, paper kind of falls in a little bit, and we're going to fix that in one moment. Next, I am going to take our um, satin ribbon that has the uh, silver edging on it. So it's the metallic edged ribbon. Very pretty, I love this. And we're going to put this, we're gonna start it at the bottom and have it come up the sides. And then we're gonna leave some extra to have um, handles. All right, and I think that's, I think that'll be good. And have this come around. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a cut right here. Okay. Now my piece of ribbon is 17 inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut another one at 17 inches. I'm using my mat on my table. And I'm going to go back to my tear and tape again. And I want to uh, put this on with some tear and tape because I want to make sure that it's going to be nice and secure. So I'm going to go up the box and a little bit across the bottom. All right, so we're going to put the tear and tape on the ribbon. I'm going to give that a nice burnish on there so I can get that backing off. And I wrap that on the box. Like so. Okay, so now I want to do the same side or the same thing to the other side of that. And there you have a cute little, a cute little um, gift bag. So the paper on the inside is flopping a little bit. So I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm just going to add a glue dot onto the, um, on the designer series paper and the acetate, but we're going to do it right behind that ribbon so that it hides the glue dot. and then it'll hold the paper up against the um, acetate box. And there you have a cute little, a cute little gift box. I'm gonna tie this up here with um, another piece of ribbon. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and tie a piece of ribbon up here and create a little bow. 
and now you have, let me move this over a little bit, a cute little gift bag to um, stick some note cards in, or full-size cards even, and some envelopes. Um, or you can uh, have some tissue paper in there, put some little treats. Um, but I just thought this was a fun, cute uh, little, little gift bag. I hope you like this and enjoyed my Savvy Sunday. Please join me again and make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, Lisa Brown, Stamp with Lisa Brown. And my blog is creativecardcloset.com. Have a great day. Thank you.